We thank you, Lord, as a people that we have had the opportunity this morning to come and worship you and glorify your name, Lord Jesus. Our eyes have opened this morning and we know, Lord Jesus, that we are not naked, Lord, but we are clothed in your righteousness this morning, my God. And we thank you this morning for your blood. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your anointing that will destroy every yoke, every hindrance, every stronghold, my God. We invite your sweet Holy Spirit this morning to come and dwell with us to come and move with us as we worship the your King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We say, Lord, just have your way this morning. It's not about me. It's not about us. It's about you. Are we going to do what we can do this morning? We're going to clap our hands. We're going to stamp our feet. We're going to raise our hands and raise our voices this morning. We come to worship you this morning and worship you in spirit and in truth. We're going to break away this morning. We're going to hang hug necks and give a holy kiss this morning and worship you, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you just come and have your way my God have your way Lord Jesus you said that everything that have breath praise you you say that everything that had breath worship you that everything that have breath call upon you because you are God who answers prayer this morning my God Lord we ask that, that your will be done have your way this morning as we exalt your name my God in Jesus name this morning I pray with thanksgiving amen and amen will you give him a tap offering this morning Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his precious name. Let me say a pleasant good morning to each and every one of you and greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome to our national and international audience. We pray you would have a grand time with us as we celebrate the resurrection life of Jesus Christ this morning. Amen. Now greet the person next to you and welcome them into the house of the Lord. Let them know how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity this morning. His name is mighty this morning. His name is awesome this morning. His name is powerful this morning. We come to worship the Lord this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Now put your hands for the Holy Spirit as we welcome him this morning in the midst of us. We pray, Father, you would have your way in our lives this morning. As morning goes and evening fades, you inspire us. Songs of praise. 
is nothing, nothing in this world, Lord, than your name can save my God. Hallelujah. He is worthy this morning. Amen. Let me just say welcome to all of our visitors in the midst of us this morning. We pray that you may enjoy service. We know that there is a word within the word for you this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. We come to give God.
become the give him all the glory and all the worship this morning. We know that our God is awesome this morning. Turn to the person next to you and look at beneath your eyes and say, my God is awesome. He can move mountains from our lives this morning. Hallelujah. He's a mountain mover this morning. Amen.
baby. Hallelujah. We know that he is. He's almighty God. He's holy. He is great. He's awesome. He's our deliverer. He's our provider. He's our protector. He's our shield. He's our buckler. He's our refuge this morning. Amen. For Jazz again for the almighty living God. Hallelujah. Bless his wonderful name. We know that our God is great. And you know what? This song seems to be singing every Sunday morning. Hallelujah.
victors this morning. Amen. We are victors this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to his precious name. Just watch a person next to you and tell them we have the victory this morning. We all are overcomers through the blood of Jesus Christ this morning. Amen. We have a testimony in our hearts for the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Because of his blood, his blood that was shed on Calvary first, we are here this morning. We are washed and cleansed in the blood of the Lord this morning. Amen. By his stripes, we are here this morning. Hallelujah. 
and praise God this morning, God. Amen. Is there a reason we continue to praise God for this morning? Hallelujah. He is worthy this morning. We come to bless Him this morning. Our soul come to bless the Lord this morning. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. We come to bless your holy name, my God. We come to worship you. We come to adore you. We come to love you. We come to serve you. We come to have fellowship with you this morning. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Hallelujah. Oh, no more soul for you, no you, no more sick. My God, we worship you. Thank you. 
Father, we give you praise today, Lord. There is none like you. Let your presence continue to permeate this place. Let your rich anointing saturate us, consecrate us. Lord, help us to see your delight today. Help us to see you with honor, glory, and majesty. Lord, help us to see you like never before. Let this day bring a fresh, fresh revelation of truth and wisdom prevail. Let light shine. Let hope come alive. Let love flow. Let your presence impact our lives, Lord. We humble ourselves before you. For we recognize that you are suffering. And we have all limitations. And we know, Lord, that we have to depend on you. For you are our light and our salvation. You are the strength of our lives. We dedicate this service to you. And we dedicate our lives to you. Surround us today. Let your glory fill this house. Let your name be exalted. Let men see how loving, caring, and compassionate you are today. And I pray that we leave this place with a different spirit today. Each one of us, Lord, will be drawn closer to your love and your compassion, your kindness. We recognize that there are more than 10,000 reasons for us to praise and worship and live for you. We know that all of us, our time is drawing close. But we we'll still be praising you. We we'll still be praising you when the end comes. Because we know that our Redeemer liveth. We know where we came from, where we are, and where we are going. And we know how to get there. So we thrust ourselves into your hands today. And we say thank you for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for understanding. And thank you for giving us another chance to see another day to worship and to love you and to serve one another. In Jesus' name, and all of you said, all of you said, amen. Give the Lord a hand if you believe it right now. Hallelujah. Turn to somebody and smile and say, I'm filled with Jesus. I'm full of compassion and love, full of his presence. Glory to God. Before you have your seat, I want you to Turn to somebody, hug them, and squeeze them till the eyeball pops right out and say, You don't know how much I love you. Praise God, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And the Lord bless you real good. You may be seated. Pleasant, pleasant, glorious, wonderful. Good morning to every one of you. Welcome to the house of the Lord. Welcome to the presence of the Lord. Welcome to this precious place of worship. We do love you and appreciate every one of you. And for those of you who have tuned in, God bless you. Thank you for joining us broadcast today. We pray that this will be a blessing to you and the Lord will not disappoint you today for he has a word that will set you free. Amen. Let's put our hands together and welcome our national and international audience. God bless you. We love you. Stay tuned. There is a word that will change your life today. Amen. Isn't God good? And all the time... Praise God. This is a special, good, a special morning. You know why it's special? Because Jesus is here. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me take this opportunity to welcome every one of you into the presence of God, into the house of the Lord. I believe when you come into God's house, you must come expecting that joy to flow. 
that joy that is unspeakable, full of glory, flowing in your life. And today, that's going to happen. Amen. Amen. So I welcome every one of you and those of you visiting with us today. Thank you for joining us. How many of you are visiting with us for the first time? Could you just lift your hands if you're here for the first time? Let's ask the brother to stand. Let's, let's greet, greet this person. Let them know. Just stand where you are. Let's greet them. Let's greet welcome. Good to see you, brother Bobby. God bless you. Good to have you today. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's always good to assemble the people in the house of the Lord. Amen. And I feel very special today. I feel honored today to see my three brothers here. I'm going to ask them to stand. Brother Mitchell, Brother Michael, and Brother Boy. I, I, Brother Mitchell, just ask them to stand. How many of you remember Brother Michael? No stranger to this church. A foundation member. I thank God for these three, three brothers. Amen. Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> I thank God for them. I thank God that they're here today. Another one was promising to come, but I didn't see him. But probably he, he get lost with a new road that we had, a new highway or something. But anyway, good to have you brothers here with us. And um, good to have all of you with us today. Good to see you, Brother Nestor. Brother Nestor. Good to see you, Brother Dave. These are foundation bulwarks. Brother Nestor, would you stand? Would Dave stand? Would Michael stand? Church, these are men who surrounded my life. These are men that made a great impact in this ministry. Let's go greet them. Come on, somebody go greet them. Make them feel welcome right now, special this morning. Praise God for them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise. Isn't God good? All the time. And all the time? All Praise the Lord. You know, they, they, these men made great impact, into, in, in, great impact into this ministry, touched many lives, was involved in so many different ministries. You know, and I thank God for what they've done. They have left a lasting legacy Amen. and they made the burdens lighter. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming this morning. Amen. And you just made my day. Amen. Good to see Sister Sheila with us today. Amen. My goodness. Yeah. I feel like old time. Yeah. 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 You know what? And Sister Marie and I, we are celebrating 34 years today. Yeah. 34. Stand. And she still looks the way she looked back then, but just a little bit different. <laughs> Amen. So I thank God for her. I thank God for our marriage. I thank God for blessing us with 34 excellent years. And we caught it five years before that. So she got... I left with nothing else. She got everything. And I thank God for a wonderful marriage. We have had our ups and downs. We had our ups and downs, but we didn't have up and down. Ups and downs. We didn't have ups and downs. But we had ups and downs to deal with. But you know what? We could go up, we could come down, but thank God we're still steady. Amen. 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 I thank God for a blessed marriage and keep praying for us. Amen. Amen. We want to be a role model. We want to be an example so you can follow. Amen. 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 She's a woman of virtue. Amen. I said she's a woman of virtue. Amen. 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 You know she's a no-nonsense woman. Amen. So God bless you and thank you for putting up with me all these 34 years. Amen. What are you talking about true? I bring my celebrity for you now, you know. He will speak the truth. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So God bless every one of you and glad to have you again. And Brother Michael, I feel very special to have you this morning. I want to say you're a special brother in my life and you've you, we, you know, you have impacted my life a great deal. And I want to thank you for being here today. I feel honored to have you today. God bless you. This is home. Amen. So this is home. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you ready for the word? Amen. I want to dismiss the Sunday school at this time so the children can go to the classes. And teachers, we do appreciate your sacrifice. God bless you. Put your hands together and welcome the teachers. Bless them as they go to the various classes praise the lord now are you ready Amen. sure you're ready can you take it yes. you promise you're going to take it yes. all right praise the lord i want you to get your bibles and i want you to 
go with me to the book of Job. I want to speak to you on a subject in the eye of the storm. In the eye of the storm. And the storm can mean anything in your life. The storm can be in any situation, any circumstance, any predicament you probably have found yourself in. And you know, I've been speaking of Job for the past few months. I've been referring to him. But today I want to go into a little more detail. I want to show it, walk you through the scripture and show you several things that I believe will help you. I trust today that you will allow the truth of God's unending compassion towards us to flush out every vestige of fear, put peace in our hearts, and fuel our faith to expect His protection, His preservation, His deliverance, and His restoration. How many of you like that? Now, all of us, we, we, we go through stuff, but... How do we handle that? How do we handle our stuff? How do we deal with it? And what, what goes on in our minds as we face our challenges when our faith is challenged by adversity?